third act of the film finds all of our main characters in New York City, right in the heart of New York City. What was that? And Bruce sees what's happening, knows that the military can't do anything about it. It has to be me. And for the first time in the movie, he's going to take the chance to willingly bring the Hulk out of him to face this creature. You think you can control it? No, no, not, not control it, but I don't know, maybe aim it. So he makes a radical decision to lower the back ramp of this helicopter. Stop! What are you doing? And leap out. So basically we had him in his giant gimbal of a helicopter and, and uh, handcuffed and he just we put a nice mini airbag down below and he was just good to go. He just, he just went and dove off and it was good. He just kind of got into it take after take after take actually. Normally, back in the old days, we would probably do a descender and have have a stunt double maybe do the actual fall, and you know it could be 80, 100 feet or whatever, and, and stop them above the ground. When you put an actor on a descender rig and just drop them down, they stop acting. It's just they stop. They just are real. They're just scared. Nowadays, we can do just with camera move. It's actually the opposite, and we have Edward in a in a harness, and simply with a little camera move where the camera leaves, it actually becomes the same shot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. I one more quickly, please, guys. In real life, we need to start the camera Sorry about that. Uh, uh, as, as a base POV, and Bruce jumps out and drops out of frame, and she comes down. She looks down. So we really need to go from a flat position, like you know, standing still position, to an horizontal position. So vertical to horizontal, and then dropping down with him. <sighs> It's easier to bring the stool to the piano than bring the piano to the stool. When we encounter Abomination, he's already created some damages. He's throwing cars, which is an ode to the Abomination Avenue. It's a comic where he's running after people, and then there's cars and people flying everywhere. We have a little bit of an homage to pay there. Um, so we had to toss some cars, quite honestly. beginning it became clear there were certain elements that everybody really wanted to try to fit into the fight. It's the biggest bar fight in history and that's what we set out to do. It's an extraordinary ride at the end of the movie but you, you have to do that. This is Hulk and Abomination and people expect nothing less. So You don't see him now but Abomination is going to be right over there and the Hulk is going to be right over there and they're going to meet right in front of that side. It's going to be very cool. Hopefully the storyboards lead into the animatics, lead into the shoot, lead right into the final animation. Um, there's always detours along the way, but it works. And I came up with, you know, it's all of us, we came up with this, these ideas of like, okay, what if he was to take a car, a police car, split it in half and use it as boxing gloves? And I was like, yeah, that's so fun. The car boxing shots are really cool on a lot of levels. Um, we did have motion capture, we did have previs. We have some really good footage of uh, R&H employees acting out, beating the heck out of each other. And, um, and then Amanda's a really good animator. She's the most meek, mild individual you could ever see. And we gave her these punching, crazy big, you know, boxing glove punching shots, and she was awesome. You know, her, her alter ego really came through there. I've done gentle and soft and nice, and I just really wanted to, you know, take out some aggression and beat up a monster with another monster and cop cars. <laughs> she turns to me, she's like, you know, I've worked on so many cute animals. Can I just beat the heck out of something? I was like, please, please, if I'm going to be on Hulk, let me smash something. She just really wanted to go to town on Abomination with Hulk. Hulk is on. Down, he's out, he's defeated, and Abomination's coming to get him. So what's he gonna do? He sees a, a cop car, and he smashes, Hulk smash, and those shots were done previous to the ones that I did. And then my shots, he grabs each of the gloves, picks them up, pounds them 
roars at the screen and then comes charging in full speed at Abomination, and he just lets him have it. I mean, he, there's no way that a bomb is going to, to win this battle with the, the two gloves on his hands, and he's just pummeling, and there's just pieces flying everywhere. This was a really great shot. Is that all you've got? Well, I had the best sequence in the movie. Um, it was the very end of the movie with uh, Abomination and Hulk. This is it. This is the fight between them, and I was really lucky. I'm, I had a blast in the sequence. It's, it's all action stuff, you know, and, and as an animator, it really doesn't get better than that. It really hit home when uh, Ed and Louis came into the studio and they presented us what the, the end of the movie was going to be. And if you're Hulk, it has kind of a... <laughs> Ed and Louis acted it out in front of us in the screening room and could just see my face, you know, what they wanted out of this thing and the, the amount of time we had left. <laughs> My first take on it was, wow, that's a lot of work, and we don't have a lot of time, but it's going to be really fun. And action! Hulk on his own is OK. It's pretty cool. Hulk fighting another guy who's taller and stronger and more athletic. I mean, that's just like a dream come true, you know? To be able to see just two guys just going at an old-fashioned brawl uh, was a dream. It was absolutely fantastic. You don't get to work on characters like this too often. I mean, there, there's only so many hero CG characters that are out there, and, you know, the Hulk, who wouldn't want to work on that? That's pretty awesome. Hulk! Smash! Yeah, it was, it was certainly the dream project for a lot of people around here. Everyone was thrilled when we got the job, and I've never seen such uh, excitement day to day from a crew. It's been great. Every day you come to work, you get to play with little cars and models, and then you go out to the big street and you actually do it. Keeping up with Louie, it's a constant on the run thing. Three takes, we'll be done with this. It's beautiful. It's a great living. What's, what's not to like?